Hi, I'm Debbie Deininger with IDT's Gas Sensing Team. Today, we're going to tell you about how to test gas sensors without a major investment in laboratory equipment or paying a third-party test lab to do it for you. Now we're going to show you how to test the sensors using a variety of common laboratory and household solvents. Although we're working with the Z-Mod today, the same technique will work with other IDT gas sensors, including the S-Gas. Here's what you'll need to begin. A plastic or glass container to serve as your test chamber, a mic or syringe, and a source of VOCs. As your source of VOC, you can use a variety of common household items like nail polish remover, alcohol, or deodorant. If you're constructing your own test chamber, you will need to make some modifications. You'll want to make a hole in the lid to allow access for solvent dispensing. You can cover the hole with a piece of electrical tape or even use a laboratory septum. You may also want a second hole for a wired EVK. In order to test the sensor, Christian will draw a small amount of solvent into the syringe and dispense it into our test chamber. You can see the sensor respond after the solvent is dispensed into the chamber. This was about 1 ppm. You can use sequential injections to see how the sensor responds to higher concentrations. Christian will add a second injection of a different VOC, which is also equivalent to 1 ppm, giving 2 ppm total. The total VOC sensor is designed to detect all of the contaminants that are present in indoor air. The sensor response is the sum of everything it's exposed to, although it will also detect gases presented one at a time. Thanks for watching our video on gas testing. For more information on IDT's advanced gas sensor family, please go to our website. You can also request more information, get our Excel-based concentration calculator, or order your own sensors and demonstration chamber from us.